Getting multiple AI characters to sing like this at different moments wasn't something most platforms could do. But with design, you can create music videos where multiple characters sing together and control exactly who sings and when. In this video, I'll walk you through the full workflow, creating consistent characters and scenes that match your song, animating them, and lip syncing multiple characters with precise timing. I'll also show you how I created scenes like this using AI, something that used to take hours or even days. By the end of this video, you'll be able to create your own AI music video using a 2026 ready workflow. First, we need a song. To make this easy, I use a simple songwriting prompt that turns a rough idea into two things we need for Suno, the style prompt and the lyrics. You can add your idea here and just feed this to ChatGPT. And once we have this, we can generate a song in Suno. In Suno, you can generate multiple versions and pick the one that feels closest to what you want. Now we have the song, we are ready to move into shaping the story and visual structure of the music video. Your visuals don't have to follow the lyrics literally, but I found that using lyrics as a blueprint to generate a story framework first makes everything more cohesive. Here's the prompt I use to turn lyrics into a sync breakdown by section that you can input to chat GPT for ideas. So in this prompt, we just have to adjust this part where you just input your lyrics and the theme and also the maybe the artists or characters you want to include in your music video and then feed it into ChatGPT. Then we can get a basic story framework like this. This step isn't about locking yourself into a rigid story that ChatGPT gives you. It's about giving yourself a visual spine and a foundation to build from. Once we have this structure, we can move into creating the visual, starting with character consistency and world building. <laughs> Now comes the fun part, we're moving into design to create the visuals. In the project workspace, for this project, my main character actually started from my own photo. I used the chat editor in design, I uploaded a reference image of myself and this is the prompt that I use to give it a more K-pop idol look. Mostly I use Sea Dream 4.5 and Nano Banana Pro because I find that I can get more consistent results with this, but sometimes you get interesting results with ChatGPT as well. And here you can select the aspect ratio and resolution. And then we can just click generate to generate the images. So this one is the result of C Dream 4.5. I, I find that C Dream 4.5 would look the best, like the reference image. Here's another C Dream 4.5. This one is Nano Banana Pros. It doesn't look as much like me compared to C Dream 4.5. And this one is ChatGPT. After a few rounds of tests and iterations, I finalized this character as the main character of the music video. So it no longer looks like me and I think that works better for the vibe of this song. If you're starting from scratch, you can also skip the reference image entirely and just use text to image. For model choice, you can really try out different advanced image model here. There are many, many to choose from. Here is the prompt I would use for the aesthetic I'm looking for. The same, we can turn on and off the prompt improver, select the quality aspect ratio, and we can just generate. You can also get your character with text to image like this. After we have the character image, we will also want to lock the style of our music video. Now we have the character, let's build different looks. We can use the chat editor to modify her outfit and build different looks for the music video. For example, I added this fur coat and in this prompt saying, put the coat on her. And we can also add details without reference image, like specifying full body shot and silver strap high heels like this in just text. And here's the image we get. You can repeat this process with other outfits. I found some sleepwear references online and I swap her outfit again using this prompt. This makes it very easy to reuse the same character across different scenes while changing styling to match the need of each part of the song. Next, we can place the characters into different environments. Here, I combine the character with a background scene using this prompt. To keep image quality high, I usually add keywords like photorealistic or cinematic. This helps to create higher quality results. From there, we can continue building more scenes with the same character. For example, in this shot, I use a top-down cinematic angle and describe what she's doing and the environment she's in. 
And here's a trick most people miss to maintain visual consistency across all scenes. To control the style of the visual, you may want to use a reusable style block like this. That defines the overall aesthetic you want. This can include lighting, color palette, and mood. The details depend on the style you're looking for. Once you define it, you can paste the same style block in every prompt to keep the visual cohesive. Here's the result. And you can see that the visual color theme I specify is integrated in this image. Using just simple prompt, you can also do things like changing the lighting of the image like this. And using the previous image as a reference, I asked to make her sit up and have the camera at her eye level. But with multiple iterations like this, sometimes you might notice the character's face drifting sometimes. When that happens, I simply use chat editor and upload both the image we want to change and also the face of the character. And use the face swap or correction prompt like this to bring her back to the look I want. This step is important if you care about consistency and don't want the character to slowly change over time. Finally, you can combine multiple characters into one image. In this example, I use one image as the base and added two other characters into the same scene. The faces look pretty similar because all of them were actually originally derived from my own face. And this is how you can create group shots, generate each character separately, and keep the identities consistent, and then combine them together when needed. This process may seem like a lot of steps for some people, but it's how you maintain quality and consistency while building a full AI music video. With our visuals design, it's time to bring them to life. At this point, all the creative decisions are done. We have the song, we have the structure, we have characters and scenes. Now we turn still images into videos. Let's try to make this image sing. For that, we can go to the lip sync panel. And here you can choose either a face image or a video. I'm going to select face image and I'll pick the image I already placed on the canvas. After you upload it, design will detect faces. This one detects three people, so I'll choose the one I want to lip sync. And if it doesn't detect a face, you can manually mark it. That happens sometimes with animal or cartoon characters. And you can select up to four characters now. Let's click next. Now we're in the lip sync timeline panel. On the left, you'll see two modes, normal and pro. I usually choose pro for better quality. If you're trying to save credits, choose normal. For output quality, we'll pick 1080p. Down here on the timeline, you can drag the duration. You can generate up to five minutes long, but in general, you don't want to lip sync longer than you need, especially if you are using a video as a base. The longer the clip, the more it can drift from your character consistency. So I recommend keeping this tight. You'll see speaker A, B, and C. Since design detected three faces, we can control who sings and when. So here I upload the audio. You can do text to speech in design, but for music video, we're going to upload our own audio clips. clips. Let's take a listen. Sleep, they say I'm crazy. This part is where they're all singing together. And then this part is where it's just one singer. So I'll upload the same clips for all three of them. And then I'll adjust the duration for each person and who's active for the solo section. And for this part where they sing together again, we can just add the same track again. Right now, there isn't an auto lineup feature yet, so you have to manually align it yourself. What I do is line them up visually from the bottom like this and do the same for the other track. Now let's listen. Okay, that's actually lined up better than I expected. I'll just adjust it a tiny bit. So the pattern here is this part, they all sing together and this part only this one sing and then they sing together again. Once we're happy, we can click generate. So you can see there is lip syncing together at the beginning and, and then she's the only singer in the middle and then they sing together again. Also notice the background. Things like smoke can animate because the model animates elements in the image when it thinks those elements can move. The result is pretty good for multiple character lip sync at once. But if you want more control over how the characters move like this, a better workflow is to generate video first, then lip sync on top of it. Because if you do image to lip sync directly, you'll get something like this, where they're mostly just standing there. But here I want them to walk. So to do that, go to AI video and input your start frame. Here's the prompt I'm using. Three women walk forward toward the camera and sync. 
confident and in control. For the model, you can choose any of the models here. My default is usually clean because it gives a good balance of quality, consistency, and price. And VO3.1 is really good too. It just costs more credits. If clean doesn't give you what you want, you can also try C-Dance, like the newest 1.5 version. Here I select Clean 2.6. With Clean 2.6, you can generate sound together with the video. But we're not going to use that sound. Sometimes I test it out, but if you want to save credits, just turn the sound off. Then choose your quality and duration. For this one, I want it a bit longer so they have time to walk. Now click Generate. Okay, here's the result. For this one, you can see the style shifts halfway through, and also the facial consistency change near the end. If your clips is too long, for some models, they don't hold consistency the whole way through. I usually just use the best few seconds, like the first five seconds is good here. From here, we can click lip sync under the video to send it to the lip sync panel. It's the same as uploading a face video inside the lip sync panel. Select the faces you want to sync and click next. And then we upload the same audio clips for all three singers again. Then adjust the duration based on who you want singing at each moment. And hit generate. And here's the result. They say I'm crazy for moving fast in a world that's half asleep. They say I'm crazy for wanting more for opening every door. So by adjusting the audio blocks on the timeline, you get complete control of the timing. I also want to show you how I made this part of the video in the intro. This used to require advanced editing skills. Now you can do the same with video editing AI models. To do that, we will go to video editor. Down here in the model, we will choose clean 01, which is the most advanced model in my opinion, to let you edit video with natural languages and multimodal references. Up here, we can upload our video. And here we can also upload our reference images if you want to guide the edit toward a more specific look or style. But today we're not going to use that. Under here in the prompt box, you can see there that there's an add video one already put in. If you have a reference image, it will also be tagged as add image one. And if you have another one, you'll see add image two and so on. When you type in add, you can choose from different elements. And by describing the relationship between these elements, the AI can understand what exactly you're looking for to combine, swap, or edit the video using natural language to describe how each element interacts. You can then instruct the AI to edit the video in the way that you want. Today, we're keeping it simple and we're just going to keep the video and type a simple prompt like remove the two women walking on the side and only keep the woman in the center. And then we can just hit generate. They say I'm crazy for moving fast in a world that's half asleep. And you can see that the two women are successfully removed from the video. And also the missing part that was blocked by the woman is seamlessly filled in. Models like Clean one can do more than just removal. You can use them to swap objects, change visual style, adjust motion, and make targeted edits that used to require a lot of manual work and technical expertise. Now in design, there is also this video enhance and upscale feature. You can enhance your video by four times and upscale up to 8K for the best quality on big screens. And how I build this sequence in the editing software is first I sync the two clips together on the timeline and then I layer the solo walking clip on top and the three walking together clip underneath. I use the top clip to cover the lower portion. We can also add special effect for transition like this. And that's how I built this sequence. This used to require something like After Effects and hours of masking. And now it's just one prompt. That's how you get all the footage for your editing software. Align the singing portion to the music and layered B-rolls on top. And then you'll have your music video. Here's a complete music video I made using this exact process. Keep a list behind closed doors, titles, roles, who's allowed for more? Wait your turn, learn the steps, who said you could want this yet? They say not now, play by the rules, follow how it's always done. But I don't know how to dim a spark, gold don't need permission to shine. If starting now makes me right. 